We back, we back, we back, we back. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Today, we will be going over seven fragrances that are going to take you where you want to go in a close encounter. If you get any benefit from any of the information today in this channel, please do consider liking and subscribing. With no further ado, let's get right into it. Starting it off with one that might be a little obvious. I'm sure that's in everybody that's a real collector of Cologne's collection. La Nuit de Lome by YSL. Cardamom, bergamot, lavender, cedar. This is dark. This is sexy. This is sensual. This is gorgeous. This is a fragrance that's been around since, what, 2009, 2010, 2011. There's been a lot of hype around it, but for good reason, okay? I've heard talks of reformulation and all of that. This bottle right here, as you can see, is a 200 milliliter. I've gone through two of the 100 milliliter bottles already, and I've had this one since 2016. It still works, even if it's a little bit... Uh, weaker on the projection side we're talking about close encounters and this has been one of my number one compliment getters to date I'm not gonna waste any time I'm just gonna tell you again believe the hype this right here Lana Weed Delome by YSL is something that any serious collector needs to have in their collection and this is gonna definitely take you where you want to go Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Eau de Parfum, Grapefruit, Basil, Cardamom, Ginger, Amber, Tobacco, and Cedar. We're talking about Close Encounters. Yes, the performance is lackluster, but the juice is still great, and you can overspray this without choking anybody out, okay? Again, we're talking about close encounters. There's a reason why this fragrance is ranked so high on everybody's list, but yes, the performance issue is a thing. I'm not telling you to go out in the community. I'm not telling you to wear it to the, the office. I'm not telling you to wear it to the gym. I'm telling you in a close encounter, this is what you want as far as compliments and taking you where you want to go. This is alluring. It's rich. It is addictive. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Again, go with the Eau de Parfum. Look at that atomizer. Right in your face. Valentino Womo Intense Mandarin Clary Sage Tonkin Iris Vanilla and Leather this is the definition of a masculine iris fragrance. One of my best pickups, hands down, in the last 10 years. This is dark. This is intoxicating. It's luxurious and it's bold and it gets the compliments that you want. For a close encounter, like I said, any in this list, just pick one. But I promise you, I promise you, this one right here, if they like Iris, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way. There's no way you could do a 2023 Close Encounter video without including Prada, Luna, Rasa, Black, Bergamot, Angelica, Patchouli, Coumarin, Amber, and Musk. Listen, does it have projection issues? Issues, Yes, it does. I think that's maybe compared to maybe the other Prada uh, uh, line, uh, the rest in the line, uh, because some of those are projection. I don't, I'm not going to say monsters, but they just project better than this one. But again, we're talking about close encounters. And let me just give you a little bit of game here. I feel like there are certain fragrances that are not going to be projection uh, monsters. They're just going to be skin scents, and I'm actually okay with that. And this is one of them. Four words, okay? Stunning, powdery, sweet, amber. This is a compliment monster, and it's backup bottle worthy. I absolutely said it, and I'm standing on it. 
Go get a bottle of this and come back to the comment section. Tell me what y'all thought, okay? And I already know it's going to be 50-50, but I'm okay with it because I love it. Prada Luna Rasa Black. Had to be in my close encounters. Had to be. PSA. I'm really having fun with this. But you tell me, what are your go-to close encounter fragrances? Let me hear about it in the comment section. Grown. Grown is sexy. Tom Ford. Black Orchid. Truffle. Black Currant. Jasmine. Orchid. Gardenia. Chocolate. Patchouli. Incense. Shout out to my boy Santos for putting me onto this probably about seven, eight years ago. Um, I will not lie to you. I feel like this is a mature fragrance this is a fragrance that is definitely for i feel almost like 30 plus but when your nose has graduated to this level and whoever you're dealing with can appreciate this again the cooperation you're going to receive is exactly where you want to go this is luxurious it's sensual this is an opulent fragrance that is still dark and mysterious that's a lot and i don't even know if i'm describing it uh as well as i would actually like but it's definitely all of those things tom ford black orchid is something for the mature refined gentleman that will take you where you want to go not blind by worthy i gotta tell you it's not that's why i definitely don't recommend it for somebody that's in a younger set but again, 30 plus, even still, you probably want to sample this first. But if you like it and you're with the right person, let me tell you, it's where you want to be. I've been waiting to talk about this fragrance. I got another video for this one too. But specifically... We're talking about Bottega Benita Pour Homme. Pine, Juniper, Fir, Clary Sage, Leather, Patchouli. This is like fresh, foresty. This is older, okay? This is definitely a little bit more mature, okay? This fragrance is the most masculine fragrance in this line that I've actually talked about today. Specifically this video. This is the most masculine in this line. But it's modern, sophisticated, beautifully built, and classy. This smells like old money. Uh, this definitely smells like the individual that is okay with maybe the outdoors per se. But again, I, I must uh, uh, emphasize that this is for... An older gentleman. The, the 20, even a 30 something crowd is not going to basically relate to this fragrance. I'm going to put that out there. Definitely not blind by worthy. Uh, and I feel like it's a little bit elusive so far right now as far as discounters and all of that. So I know you can still get it, but I don't know how easy it is to get a decant on the you know sample side. Try it. But if you're of an older crowd, you like the outdoors, you're okay with you know the pine, the fur, uh, the leather. If you're okay with those notes, this is something that could potentially be for you on the blind buy side. But this is an excellent fragrance. Clearly, I own it, and y'all know I really rock with more of some of the sweeter scents. If you're talking about Close Encounters, and this is not a crazy projector, which is why it's on this list, please check out Bottega Benita. Almost perfection, okay? One of my holy grails, you see the bottle, you've seen it in previous videos. I love this fragrance. Dear Ohm Intense. Iris, pear, cedar, vetiver. This is rich, intoxicating, 
complex, but a beautifully blended fragrance, okay? You need to like Iris. I don't even feel like you need to love it, but you I feel like you definitely need to like Iris. It's like a, it starts off with this Iris uh, a powdery bomb, but then basically kind of dries down into a, a, a light chocolate vanilla. Believe the hype on this. If you've done any research, if you've heard about this fragrance before, just please believe it. But I will say, and I just, I, I, I have to do that because, you know, I'm not pumping any BS on this channel. I don't feel like it's blind by worthy. You can still find this all over the place though. So definitely get yourself a, uh, a decant, uh, a sample of this if you haven't gone down the iris path yet. But if you have, I'm going to tell you, this is a deal closer. Has been multiple times, especially for my situations. Has it just been the fragrance? Probably not, but it's definitely helped my situation, okay? Dior own intense last but definitely not least when we're talking about close encounters and trying to close the deal man listen <laughs> yeah we made it through another one check this out remember the actual thumbnail on this fragrance list okay i'm talking about close encounters you've already got your situation set you at the hotel you in the room you at your house you at her house whatever it is the mood is set that's what i'm talking about when it comes to close encounters with these okay regardless thank you for tuning into this channel watching this video today please get in the comment section yay or nay hate or love it let me know how y'all feeling and i'll see y'all on the next video